And now see, look at the frames now. You're watching this right now. It's not fake. This video will actually change your life. And now see, look at the frames now. You're watching this right now. It's not fake. This is real. And you might be wondering why I'm recording with my GoPro. Why am I not screen recording this whole thing? So what's up people? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll show you how to boost your frames in CarX Street PC 2024. So in this video, as you can see, I'm getting around 58, 56 FPS. This is in the menu. Now if I go to my city, you see, I'll be getting around 54 FPS, 53 FPS, 6 FPS. And this is not enough actually, I need more. You know, uh, more the FPS, the better. So let me show you here. Let me just pause the game. And let me show you my graphics card, which is I'm, which will be, which I'll be using here. I'm using. If I go to my settings, I go to performance. Just head on to performance tab, and here you will see. Uh, just a second, and you will go to my tuning. If I go to my tuning tab, you will see here that I'm using the Radeon RX 6750 XT, which is a decent GPU for a game. So this is actually only a 15 GB game and running very horribly here in, in my system. So I'll show you how you can make this game run a lot better and you can you can triple the frame rates, you know. Uh, so average I'm getting around 40 FPS. If your game is running very horribly, the first thing you need to do here is that go to settings and you can you can uh, retune down your settings, you know, to your max, to the lowest possible you can use. So I have I'm using high because this is a high-end graphics card, remember. The 750 XT. This is actually the overclock edition, not even the highest, it's the overclock edition. It can run 1440p games like butter. But this game is actually struggling a lot. So this video is just about that, how you can fix your frame rates. So you lower all everything else and then if still you're getting 40 FPS, then that, that means something is wrong with your settings in the AMD control panel or your NVD con NVIDIA, NVIDIA control panel. <laughs> uh, the, it, it happens, you know. The GPU is only being utilized here 30%. And if you see the wattage, it's only 94, 95 watts. So this is actually kind of not great. And again, CPU utilization 65%. Remember, this game is a CPU intensive game. I'm getting 47 FPS. So now, how you can fix this? I'll show you this in this video. First of all, get out of the game and then head on to graphics fix and go to graphics settings here. And there also, go to uh, and turn on the variable refresh rate on and then go to browse. And after you browse, you have to find your game, where your game is located. My game is located in program files, D drive program files. The car X street and then we'll select the car X street icon. And here in the options, you'll see, you select high performance AMD. Now we'll click on save. Now let's see how the performance is. Now see, now we are getting around 60 FPS. This is what I was talking about. I might drop to 50, but again, it's actually a lot better here. I can control my car just like the way I want. Now see, 60, now we are actually here in the 60s house. And look at the GPU utilization, it's 47%. Earlier it, it, it was 28, 25%, but now it's 40, 50, even 50%, 65%, look at that. And the GPU power is 121 watts, or 26 watts right now. Earlier it was 104, 105 watts. So a lot of slight improvement you can see here, just by doing one step. And now look at the FPS, it's 74, 75, in some region, this is actually a region, but a heavy region, if I go to my city, I go to the city, you see, there are a lot of shadows, everything set to high, in my graphic settings, so you must say settings again, go to my settings, you can see everything is set to high, and advanced blur, motion blur, you can set to full screen, depending on what we're doing, but right now I'm recording, so I'm setting the borderless window, so I can switch between windows quickly, I'm running on full HD and frame rate 240 because that's my. I, you have to limit your frame rates to your monitor's refresh rate to avoid turning on VSync. VSync should be turned off, okay, by the way. And everything set to ultra. Look at the ultra. This game should actually give a 60 FPS in ultra. If you prefer to be also, it should be ultra. Now, this is. It will happen only once or twice in the whole game. It will never happen again. So, this is uh, how it's running. Uh, 60 FPS. Let's say we're getting an average of 60 FPS. We want more. We want 140 FPS, 130 FPS. What to do now? We just head on, like, click Alt R in your AMD control panel and your keyboard, and head on to gaming. Here you'll see uh, Radon Super Resolution. 
Okay, the on this trick is for those people who are using the old graphics card for AMD, like the RX 570, RX 560, RX 460, RX 470. Doesn't matter 4 GB or 8 GB. But if there's an old graphics card, you'll definitely get more frame rates. This game, particularly in this game. So you need to turn on the super resolution. Enabled, borderless full screen. Now you see the resolution override. By default, it will be quality. Okay. By default, I, do, I think I have tested this before, so it was on performance mode. But right now, I'll set this to quality. But again, a screen a game restart is required. But let's see if there's any effect on the frame rate. But uh, it will not show here in my game because I have to restart the game. Because this will only take effect after I restart. You won't see any difference, but in your case, please do a restart and then check. If you are getting 60 FPS, fine. Even if you are getting 30 FPS, constant 30 FPS, that is also fine. Because if you are getting something constant, even if it's let's say if it's even if it's 30, then that will also be uh, very helpful. Now there is sharpened effect. Don't touch the effect. We believe to 70 percent. I think 75 percent. Okay. And then uh, if your game is not running fine, then again you can choose this option. You can just go on one step at a time like this and then like this and see restart the game and see which is better the moment you are getting 60 fps stop at that point and let's say you are using an rx 6000 or 5000 gpu let's say you are using the 5500 gpu you are not getting enough frames you want to raise to 40 hertz and you want 40 fps well you can get to 40 fps for that you will need a extremely 24 gb or 16 gb gpu but in this case, if, if you are actually aiming for a 120 FPS, then there is a secret tool here called the AMD Fluid Motion Frames. Fluid Motion Frames. So just turn this on. And now see. Look at the frames now. You are watching this right now. This is not fake. This is real. And one more thing. And you might be wondering, why I am recording with my GoPro? Why am I not screen recording this whole thing? The moment you turn on the Fluid Motion Frames, what happens is that OBS doesn't capture the overlays. All the overlays are disabled for some reason. I'm not sure. I think this is a part of the AMD Fluid Motion Frames. So I have recorded like two times. But unfortunately, in the end, I see that the frames are not showing. So there's no way to show what frames I'm getting. Now, here, look at the game. It feels buttery smooth. I'm not sure how it will capture in the camera, but it will feel buttery smooth. Whereas, with my screen recording, the uh, Overlay matrix will not be shown, and you see in the bottom in the background, I'm getting around 60, 60 FPS. It's showing 60 FPS there. I'm getting 140 FPS, and look at the FPS here. There in the with the FPS there on the screen, it's, it's, it's showing 64 FPS. Whereas AMD is actually doing their job. AMD is actually making us get 2 FPS. Isn't that great, ladies and gentlemen? Behold. This video will actually change your life. Trust me, you just have to turn that one setting on and boom, you get triple, you're getting triple. Kind of double. In my case, I'm getting double. But in some cases, I've heard that people using the lower end GPUs are actually getting the triple frame rates. Depending on the game, by the way. I'm not sure, but you can try these settings. It's worth it. You will later thank me. It's a like. I know, I, I know you guys. You guys are great. You have a great heart. That's how you can help me to like. Look at the frame rates. 108. This can, I cannot capture this on my OBS. That's why I'm recording with the screen. The screen recorder. I'm recording with my GoPro. This is how it is. I guess 11 game running in uh, 140 FPS, 40 FPS. Sometimes it drops where there's a lot of shadows. But turn off the shadows actually. You don't need shadows. So there we are. actually quite insane <laughs> the frames 90 that's actually more than enough for me and there's one thumb rule if you are uh, let's say you are using a 240 hz pointer let's say how much frames you need to experience it smoothly in my opinion half of it would be enough means 120 fps will be enough for you to experience this if you're getting 240 fps that's heaven for you now we'll see i think that's enough 
and that can learn enough for you guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. I think this will this video will actually change the way you play games. This will actually work for any games. And this is a secret weapon, guys. Do not tell this to anybody. Okay, this is a secret weapon. Perfect. Okay. So this is it. This is all the game is about. So we are so that's all for today's video. I hope you really enjoyed this video and Make sure to subscribe if you want to know how I install triple screen in Correct Street then click the video on the right and if you are experiencing stutters in the game then click the video on the left. We can see you on my next video.